everybody. Will here, Tom Cruise Studios, Live Music in Austin, bringing to you episode number three of Three Beers and a Whiskey. This episode tonight features Andy McIntyre and beer number three. But specifically, side two, awesome. Side, there. So For all of you millennials, but but it's side two yeah. meaning vinyl, flip it over. We're not talking about. <laughs> yeah. You saw that right? yeah, the GoPro over here is all. Oh. This is what I love about doing this, man. Is we're having a good time. We're, we're drinking, drinking beer, time. and no, there is no time. There's no time. There is no time. Um, hey, hey, hey. But we are on. Don't bust that up. We'll be right back. Going on fifty minutes. <laughs> the whiskey. The. The whiskey is done. Um, oh yeah, we were, see we get sidetracked. We, sh we were talking about freaking Ben um, because Ben Ben Davis has said, "Oh yes, I want to do the show." Because part of like totally do three beers and the whiskey is not just getting you know the musicians like yourself on here to sit down and have some you beer. Make sure Ryan bullshit too. So so hey Ryan. Oh, pour me a Jack and Coke. And Ryan goes, "Yeah, all right, Jack." Yeah. Here you go. I'll be 450. <laughs> Holy shit. You're like all, ugh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've had those nights over there too. Um, have you been to the new Come and Take It? Have you no. been? Really? Oh, God. You know what? Hey, we're done here. It's I Friday night. Let's, let's bounce. Let's so go over there. busy making this in the last year. And year, now. yeah. Because they they're just they just broke their one year uh, anniversary. Uh, April. Um, so, uh, yeah, Ben Ben said, I'll do the show, but it's going to have to be three whiskeys and a beer. And I was like, no, the fucking show is three beers and a whiskey. He goes, I don't care. It's going to be three whiskeys and a beer. I was like, all right, we'll, we'll fight about that shit live and just see how that pans out. Um, and then, of course, the, the funny thing care. is that. I don't care. With his glasses. He's like Bernie. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> um, uh, Egg salad sandwich. <laughs> um, so, you know, this, you know, I have no idea where this came from, but okay. how is your hair so perfect? It's not perfect. <laughs> Somebody out there thinks it is and loves it. This is an internet question? You got fans over here. Dude, all right, uh, okay. The so, fans want to know. The fans want to know. Product listing. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> we're, we're, okay, before we went live, it's not perfect. Uh, uh, we were talking about Pine Top Perkins, you know, rest in peace, Pine Top, and his funeral. And there's one particular uh, hair product. It, so, do you use his stuff? Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> I've all. Uh, this hair, this is a Finley's hair cut. Really? Yeah, I like it. I like, like it. I woke up and I did this, and I look good. I Actually, like, a chew, and then. Oh. <laughs> you know, Austin, awesome. Austin Allergies does amazing oh, things. Oh, God. Hair. You know, the only it city in the cool. entire freaking country that has an allergy forecast. No other city. Really? Not even no, Santa Nope, mm -mm. no, just Austin has an allergy forecast. I thought, like, maybe. Portland or Sacramento or something like <laughs> yeah I was like that the last two days because of dawn yeah but, um, no it was it, I actually I was like okay it's super bizarre but okay cool whatever and which is why Lisa's not joining us tonight and his wife because the Austin allergies are whipping her ass which and, is funny because typically it's the other way around yeah so she being born here impervious to Juniper Ash Fuck you. <laughs> Better known as I am uh, not impervious. I wish I were. Fever. That's the cedar yeah, fever. Yeah, dirty shit, man. Man, um, this stuff is sticky. You ever seen it underneath the microscope? Mm -mm. It has like thorns on it and it's sticky. And it, is that right? Why it really it's fucks people up so bad? Power semen. It is. Sticks it's to that egg. I'm gonna, I'm gonna penetrate you. I will tear up your lungs and then I will make a business of your deviated septum <laughs> and cause it to come down like this, you know? And you will totally be, you know, incapacitated. You won't be doing shit. Your ears are gonna close up. You're gonna you can't hear, you can't hear. It's gonna be amazing. 
<laughs> when I see the people, I will see the you. Oh, yeah, the all the allergies. Yeah. True. Oh, and, 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 you know, people that are watching, people that are watching are like, this is blown out of proportion. Like, no, no, it's not. No, no, it's not. no, no, no. You know we're not bullshitting not. if you have those yeah. hideous allergies. Yeah. You're, you're literally a junkie for, for two and a half months. Yeah, oh, like, like just as you many antihistamines. I, 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 I walk around the house like this, and you know, like God, it hurts so bad. Your ears like, and I don't have that problem. I'm like that all year long. Well, okay, yeah. The crew's the crew's talking to us from overside. Yeah, no, Al, you're not from here, so you don't get to speak. And Wait, how neither are you. Have you been here for? Couple months. I oh, <laughs> give it two to three more years, and, and then you're gonna call and go. What the fuck is this shit? I remember when Andy McIntyre talked about this. It was it true. Will be you. It's horrible. Hives like every day almost. Yeah, and you didn't before. No, it just started like maybe. Welcome to Austin, baby. Years ago. Yeah. yeah. No. So live your all life. So all you LA people. people, they're like, this is the mm-hmm. best. <laughs> You just wait. Don't LA my Austin. Just wait. May I just say one thing about Austin traffic? You may. <laughs> you may. 35? Really, just one thing about Austin traffic? Yes, please. Go ahead and say one thing about Austin traffic. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> but having driven through the Strangler in March, which is San Diego to LA, which is only two hours of drive time that took me five and a half. Austin will never be like LA traffic. You know, it, 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 it better not be. Or I, then I think we will all move. Just because LA traffic, bro, it's like Austin traffic is here at its worst. Mm. But it's LA, LA has traffic. like, but they have like totally different levels. Multi lanes of freeways going in every direction that are all just like, oh, let's go just drive. S- or do they drive slow, or is it like it fast moving? It doesn't path? move, right? It no, just doesn't no. move. It's, it's put it in park and light up a ball. <laughs> you have been fined by the FCC. You've been fined by the James Brown C. <laughs> it's okay, uh, Greg, I haven't already took this offline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he heard us talking shit, and he just like, from his wheelchair went, boom, and disconnected us. <laughs> um, wow. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> um, when you go to, uh, so we're bring it around, bring, bring it, it around, around. Town. bring it around town. Um, so the new album. <laughs> I'm like, let's get it off the dead stuff. Piss off the, I do not need state troopers at my door. Well, I was about to say, well, SpongeBob was great. No, SpongeBob was great. No, SpongeBob was great. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. Oh, um, it around town. Oh, no, okay. So we'll we'll go with the SpongeBob joke. So I haven't been drinking. My my daughter comes downstairs. I don't know if it was on a Saturday or Sunday or what day it is. And I'm hanging out, and the TV's on, and she comes down, and she's like, "Oh my god!" And I hear her, and then she goes to the room because mom's you know sleeping a little bit on the weekend. And I hear her go to the room, and she goes, "Mommy, Will's watching SpongeBob." <laughs> I watched it. She's like, are you watching Spongebob? I'm like, yeah. She's like, why are you watching Spongebob? I was like, because it's on. Spongebob's cool. <laughs> it is. <laughs> uh, so the new album. Really back in April. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got this. Oh, is it fair to say the single for Juice? Is that single from the album is Juice? Yeah, or? I would say, well, this is technically the second single. Um, Ooh, shame on me for not doing my no, work. Wait, what was... No, it's fine. The first single was Mellow Man. Uh, the title of the album is Mellow Mania, which means music lover. Mellow Man does. But then, and it's not in English, by the way, because, because it has M-E-L-O, M-A-N-I-A. And Mellow Mania is just someone who's, you know, music lover is crazy. That's me. Me too. So, is... Come on, Gary! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm an idiot. I just no, it, no, it's really it, no, 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 no. Uh, and, you know, the funny thing is, I could see your wife at home all like, oh my god, you what the idiot. fuck what is, is he just doing? doing? Same, same, same. <laughs> is she. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> she's already logged out. Where do you like 
playing in Houston. You know, not on their phones, not yapping in the background, but everybody's down with the show that's happening. So where's where's the place that you really like to play that you you dig the crowd vibe? Well, the crowd was great at end times when we put up. Yeah, I know. And then um, one to one's always been great. Uh, Greg, Destiny, we love you. Greg Abbott just joined the live. <laughs> oh, man, we're going to get in trouble here. Um, so that's where the thumbs down is coming from. <laughs> I, I didn't want to. Don't like, don't like, don't like. Not even thumbs down, the whole shut down. You know, they've had the vortex for too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least we're not. That was kind of that was a well that was a tough point there. <laughs> that you know what's funny about that tough point? Yeah. When when I was five, I was um, at this schmancy restaurant with my grandparents and my my mother and my father and my uncle because it was just some kind of Christmas sort of business you know one of those things where you meet up other people. Christmas that, the dumb. That, oh, well, no no that, that you know like someone in the family happy you know. So, it's a Christmas party, it's a work party kind of thing. Oh, yeah, okay. And there's like this banquet thing. And I remember this. It's fuzzy, but I'm reminded of it every, every couple of years. Because we were five. That was five. Okay. And my and my father goes, who looks like Bernie Sanders, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he does. And Doc Brown put into one person. Oh, okay. And he, he goes, he's from Pennsylvania. He goes, so? Yeah. Give your father a good clink. And it was one of these where, you know, you like, you have a, you have a full on handle here. And it's, oh, like, you see where this okay, is going. Yeah. And he goes, no, don't be gentle, kind of thing. I'm like, oh, okay. And we're in front of like some, some corporate people. And I go, like that. And it goes everywhere. My brother's like, oh my God. You know, like um, yeah. so, so now, here's another, here's another thing that came in. You like to impersonate. Do so. What would an Andy McIntyre impersonation look like? Oh, yeah. I wish Lisa was here because that would be great. Yeah, it's it's quite a white person, isn't it? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's all like shaking his head up there. It was a monotonous. A monotonous. It's an Andy. You should come with Bailey in here. Bailey, Bailey, you can be me. So, an Andy McIntyre impression. Is there like? You mean to impersonate, an impersonate myself? Of you? What would an Andy McIntyre? Well, this is what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it can't not be an impersonation. <laughs> <sighs> but I mean, my favorite impersonation. I mean, it's making fun of that Cheeto. Oh, the Cheeto. Yeah. Sorry, I just. That's. He's. Here's to the Cheeto. Not no, here's to not to the Cheeto. Here's, here's, here's to the impersonation, the impersonation yeah. of the Cheeto. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, back there, everybody. No, no. Uh, we're. Click. Okay. I'm not uh, like. I'm getting, I'm getting signals from over there and like, drink your fucking whiskey. Okay, alright. Mm, right. yeah, I'm like, oh. Okay. Oh, you can pour one. No! Oh, you pour this in here? Sure, why not? No, y'all are disgusting. <laughs> Here's the funny thing is, so I've got crew that's like my my internet person who runs it, Felicia Daniel, and then back here uh, behind the cameras, also helping with cameras, is Veronica Mosa. Uh, my director is Rudy Orozco, or Rudy Oro, and then the one that's silently signaling the shit out of me and she's like making faces and finger motions and I don't know what that is. I don't know what she's saying she refuses to speak. It's my wife. <laughs> the other half of Tom Cruise Studios. You know, I've never had like background music for my I feel like I should be speaking like this. With that. What? You need a theme song. All right, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of Three Beers and a Whiskey. Make sure you come back and look for the video link for the after the interview performance 
by Andy McIntyre.